I felt like doing another video where I don't really have to do anything and just ask people what they think. So today I'm going to talk to you about what makes a good English class according to my English class. When Allison is not teaching it. If Joe Kane was here. Reading, writing, thinking, speaking. Someone with experience as a teacher. Ethnic stories. Essays that are thought-provoking and can't be answered in just two sentences. No bell ringers. Now, bell ringers are these things that Allison makes us do almost every day. We walk in, and there's a little question on the board, but she never checks them, so most people don't even do them. Thinking, analysis, and discussion. These are all things that occurred in Joe Kane's room, but up to this point, we haven't really done much of this in Allison's class. I don't really hate Allison as a person. She's not someone that I would probably hang out with, but... I don't dislike her as a person. It's her teaching style that I don't like at all. Because she's she's just the complete opposite of Joe. And she doesn't really... I feel like she's lazy. Like she just gives us these assignments and then doesn't really talk to us about the theories or the symbolism that we've worked out. She just gives us assignments and moves on. Avoid cliches. And finally... The number one thing that makes a good English class is books. Hey, I, I didn't write any... Well, technically I did write this, but I didn't come up with it. You can't write that crap.